So the Eye of Sauron has found a new victim, and it's someone called Andrew Tate. Now, I have to be honest, I didn't really know who Andrew Tate was before this, and I'd, I'd seen like the odd clip of him talking in his kind of weird half British accent. Uh, and people had said, oh, you should talk to Andrew Tate. And I remember like looking at a few of these clips and being like, I don't really want to. Like, I'm not really interested in Andrew Tate's take on anything. I don't think he's particularly deep or wise or, you know, any anything else that I could say is a, a virtue. And so it's like, okay, well, I, you know, and so I just didn't care. And so I just ignored it. And then all of a sudden, Andrew Tate is all anyone in the, the mainstream Twitter sphere is talking about. And it's like, okay, well, what about him? It's like, well, he's a, an evil misogynist. It's like, well, okay. <laughs> but I mean, I guess you would say that, but you say that about literally everything. So how is this guy any different? And really it's just because he's like the sort of like, you know, manosphere type, you know, uh, life coach for young men Ex to become chads. That kind of type. Yeah. yeah. I, I was saying before we started, but like I watched a lot of his videos. Actually irritating that I kept getting them on YouTube shorts. Yeah. And I had to start blocking all these channels because there's all these sock channels that just yeah. endlessly post clips of him. Yeah. It's my understanding there's apparently he pays for people to do this, but whatever. Right. But um, that's not against terms of service. No, but it was just the point of like the stuff he was making, he would basically talk about bimbo women and say yeah. that bimbo women are terrible. I'm like, well, sure. yeah, bimbo women. <laughs> I don't, I don't know Caliban, in his, <laughs> Caliban in his Taliban outfit is like, yeah, bimbo women bad. Yeah, well, you know, put them in a nice robe and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cover them modestly. <laughs> you have, have an honourable sister, but Andrew didn't... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> but, the, but the point is, like, it, it, it's a particular kind of lifestyle that he's offering. And women, some certain kinds of bimbo women, as you say, gravitate towards it. And so, okay, well, you know, obviously a feminist isn't going to like it. But somehow we're still trapped in 2012. And somehow the rules from 2012 still apply. And so he got completely cancelled. But anyway, before we start, if you want to know exactly how it came to be that feminism became the dominant paradigm of just everything, you can go to loadsease.com, sign up, and check out my How Elites Are Captured Deep Think uh, to explain just how Tate ended up in trouble. And you can see the, the double-sided narrative that is one of the sections in here that I'm highlighting as to how Tate becomes Mr. Evil and the feminists become the innocent angelic victims of their persecution of him which is just incredible. If you just look at who's got the whip hand here, who's the one inflicting the damage, it's actually the people claiming to be the victims. And the double-edged narrative is the method I use to explain why this is the case. Very proud of this piece. Definitely go check it out. Anyway, so Andrew Tate, like I said, I didn't know anything about him apart from a few months ago. I was like, oh, he's sex trafficking. So I looked into it, and all I found was stuff like this from the Daily Beast. They were like, oh, well, he's he's been raided, and they found two women at his place. And it's like, yeah, but they appeared to be there voluntarily and no charges were brought against him. So it's like, okay, that's actually not sex trafficking. And the, the allegations appear to have originated, he lives in Romania, uh, and the allegations originated in America. So it's just like, I don't know. Yeah, but, he, he has uh, boasted previously that being in Romania allows him to subvert the law. Yeah. So I imagine that's fed a lot of it. But I get the feeling that he's a lot of mouth on him as well, actually. You know, I get the feeling that a lot of this guy's like persona is just him mouthing, you know, and it's fine, you know, I don't care. But like, the point is, you know, the, the Romanian agent, agency, uh, policy agency added that no one was charged or arrested yet in the case. This is back in April. No one's been charged or arrested. Okay, well. It is until proven guilty. Yeah, exactly. This isn't you know, Romania, so. Ch yeah, <laughs> charge him with something. And then I'll be like, okay, well, he, did, he might have done something, you know, take him to a court, give him his day in court. Uh, and so, okay, as far as I can tell, nothing has come of this, but I love the way they frame it. King of toxic masculinity. This is just his brand, you know? It's like, oh, I'm, you know, okay, cool, fine. You know, funny. Okay, go on, next one. Uh, the, the You get, like, articles like this where it's like, oh, look, he's got all these controversial statements. It's like, oh, please. Oh, do me a lemon. Like, ooh, controversial statements. I mean, I no, guess. I could, I, I could not. I mean, yeah. what these people think is controversial yeah, is pathetic. But then even if it is, you're just like, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Okay, ooh, he flapped his gums. Brilliant. Yeah, like uh, no one died. Yeah, exactly. And they, 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 the reason they care is because he had four and a half million followers on Instagram. Because, and he didn't have, like, loads for ages, and then it just exploded. So these viral clips went around of him saying things that apparently, uh, you know, like, Zoomers were like, oh, my God, I've never heard misogyny before. And maybe they haven't. <laughs> you know, after everyone else got censored, maybe they haven't. They were like, wow, that, that's so true. It's like, wow, that's interesting. 
how mm -hmm. all it takes is one guy to say something misogynistic about women for the Zuma generation to be like, hmm. This is interesting and new. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Although I did see, I mean, you know, it may be fake. I think it was some Reddit post of some yeah. guy saying he took his advice. That he had his girlfriend and he wanted to find out if the girlfriend really liked him. So he took Andrew Tate's good advice of saying uh, he cheated on her. Yeah, I saw this. Uh, <laughs> and then apparently she got upset and left. What yeah. should I do, bros? And it's like, yeah, it seems like terrible advice. All, all the friends hated him. And it's like, that's because it was awful advice. Yeah, but I imagine that being one of the things of like, oh my God, he said this. And it's just like, again, it's just... Well, they do stuff say on the internet. Like, who cares? They do say this, right? His videos spread hate and threatening ideologies that reach and endanger a significant number of people. I'm listening. Really, Andrew Tate is endangering people, is he? I mean, <laughs> I want to know which race he's going after. Well, well, he, he actually, they, they actually say no. They don't say race, right? They don't actually call, accuse him of being a racist. They accuse him of uh, essentially threatening women. And it's like, okay, I think you're giving him more credit than he deserves, frankly. You know, I'm sure he's thrilled with this kind of legendary status, yeah. but like, and I, and I don't actually care about. Him. I don't, I don't have negative things or positive things. It's just like he's just an internet personality, as far as I'm concerned, right? But uh, to make things worse, the majority of his audience are men. Of course they are. Of yeah, course they are. It's so like, stupid. It's like I don't really like the guy, but it's just I see. You know, when you see the opposition, they make be him that. sound cool. Yeah, don't you know he 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 isn't horrible to men? I was like, yeah, okay, wow. I can't believe young men were interested in hearing what he had to say. What did you guys think of Jordan Peterson? He wasn't horrible to men either. Yeah. I remember the accusations. I remember Kathy yeah, Newman yeah. saying yeah. that he had a Aren't male audience. Aren't you just audience. raising an incel alt-right army? And Jordan Peterson's like, no. <laughs> but even if I was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he was uh, cast in Big Brother in 2016, but was instantly ejected due to these viral videos. Uh, you know, they're like one of them seemed like, you know, like hitting a woman with a belt or something, but the thing is, she's like, yeah, well, it's our sex life, it's consensual, blah, blah, blah. And so it probably is. He probably attracts that kind of woman. You know, what do you want? Um, he posted homophobic and racial slurs on his Twitter page. Okay. Uh huh. Have you not been on Twitter before? <laughs> the word Nazi trends every day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and worse. Or Israel. <laughs> yeah. He stated that depression isn't real and that women should bear some responsibility for being raped. So, God, okay. Yep. He's terrible. He, he's got a website that he makes money out of, and they, so they hate that too. And uh, yeah, so finally, most of his controversial statements are those that intentionally attack or devalue women. These takes include women can't drive. The boomerist take of all takes. <laughs> it's like something your dad has said a million times. Oh yeah. It's like literally all of, all of the humor of my dad's generation focuses around this concept. All of it. <laughs> My wife. <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's exactly it. Uh, men can cheat, but women can't. Or 18 and 90 year old women are more attractive than 25 year olds because they've been through less dick. It's like, okay, so women who aren't massive sluts are more attractive than women are. Okay. It's just, just, just oh God. Won't someone stop this man who's endangering women? Yeah. Like if you wanted to take statements from him that actually make him sound what you'd find an e easier job if you knew what you were looking for as well. Yeah. But when you go for, oh, by the way, he thinks women can't drive. I mean, <laughs> I mean anyone over the age of 30 is definitely reading that going, yeah. <laughs> so the, the main concern, of course, is that Andrew Tate is influencing young men, Callum. Like, young men like you, in fact. No. Well, no, no he didn't because I blocked all his bot accounts. So. <laughs> Teachers are being urged to listen to what children are talking about in school corridors and be aware of such terms as manosphere to counter sexist social media trends which pupils may have been exposed to over the summer holidays. Right. So if we can't brainwash them in the schools, they might think for themselves. They might th see things on the internet that we don't agree with. This is the this is the crux of this entire issue, right? Yeah, but it's also very revealing of the school system. Yes. Just openly telling us our job is actually to indoctrinate your child yes. into thinking a certain way, not to provide a service. That is precisely it. We're not educating them, we are literally brainwashing them. School professionals and child safety charities, I am very trusting of these organizations, have voiced concerns of videos of misogynistic content creator Andrew Tate have been viewed by millions of social media users over the six-week break. In one video, which he was interviewed by another YouTuber, he said he was absolutely a misogynist. <laughs> <laughs> Adding, yeah. I'm a realist, but when you're a realist, you're a sexist. <laughs> There's no way you can't be rooted in reality and not be a sexist. You can see how the feminists are like, well, hang on a second. That's true. Men and women are different. Yeah. Right. In the same video, he called women intrinsically lazy and said there was no such thing as an independent female. See, I mean, there you go. There's, there's some more like character assessments rather than the biological aspects, but... 
UK charity Hope Not Hate recently launched a campaign calling, yep. calling for social media platforms to remove Tate's content, saying it attempts to normalize extreme misogyny and conspiracy theory. What conspiracy? I have no idea. Like, <laughs> and, and, and saying conspiracy theory is not an insult, frankly. No. But like, uh, I wonder what the conspiracy is, that men should rise up and oppress women. <laughs> I like, don't know. that's the big male conspiracy. But Home Not Hate have been going really hard on this. We can go to their Facebook page. You can just scroll down. You can just see the amount of just Andrew Tate content <laughs> that they've been posting. Just keep going. Just get Tate, Tate, Tate. They've been non stop. This is all they've been doing for like a week. For people who don't know who they are, they're like the, well, they like to think of themselves as the British version of the Southern Poverty Law Center. Yeah. And they'll be yeah. like, oh my God, Nazi, yeah. Nazi, Andrew Tate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just like, okay, he's a, he's a prat, but like, He's, that's it, you know. It's it's. He's not bombing any synagogues or mosques. No, it's not. It's not. It's not going to happen. He's just an online grifter, basically. Yeah. You know, and it's just like okay, fine. You know, who cares? But anyway, so the BBC's disinformation reporter Mariana Spring provided us with some disinformation. She says Andrew Tate's videos promoting misogyny and targeting women. No, the videos target men. The videos are specifically for men. Imagine that being for women. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You, like, but she is the disinformation I, correspondent. I'm so going to gather she, a female audience on YouTube. How are you going to do it? By calling them lazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, women aren't independent. You know, like, <laughs> literally, uh. prime disinformation from the BBC. I love it. Uh, have come to prominence this summer with many teens commenting on just how much he's appearing on their social media feeds. His content has raised concerns about the real world effect of cannabis. It's raised concerns. We, we don't know anything bad's happened, but oh, I'm, I'm concerned. Hmm. I'm concerned. This is very much the sort of, you know, concerned mothering you know, matronly aspect of the internet coming out. I'm like, oh no, I have concerns. So I don't care if you have concerns. You know, maybe go and ask your husband. Oh, you don't have one, right? Okay, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> Why course, do you not? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe you should listen to Andrew Tate. I don't know. His target targets women, oh. doesn't it? Because like, I've seen, uh, there was one video from him that I saw Lauren Chen picked up on as well, which yeah. was uh, funny, to say the least. Right. Which is, again, it's about bimbo women. He's like, uh, if a guy crashes his car, uh, then he'll be like, I'll get a second job, I'll pay for it. Yeah. And then a woman crashes the car and she'll be like, you have money, you pay for it. Like, I'm not doing anything. And then there's some guy on the street is interviewing women and ask them. Mm. And all of them followed the line yeah. of being like, no, why would I pay for it? Like, he's got money, he should pay for it. And all of the women were bimbos, though. Well, there we go. So... But anyway, his contents raise concerns about the real world effect it could have, especially on the younger users exposed to it during their school holidays when they have time on their hands. Since then, several several sites have made commitments <laughs> to better protect female users. Because female users, they're basically the same as children. Right? Yeah. That's what the BBC thinks. Oh, you poor, poor thing. Oh, we, we big daddy social media will come along and keep you safe from the mean Andrew Tate saying things about women. Ooh. But once again, questions are being raised about the role social media sites pu play in pushing anti-woman content. It's like we're trapped in 2013 forever. It does remind me of that. Yes. It's just like, don't you know women are under attack by what? Words that are slightly upsetting. On the internet, of all places. I can't believe someone said something on the internet you didn't like. But anyway, so then the, then the de-platforms began. Now, he was banned from Twitter ages ago, because Twitter is Twitter, of course. Uh, he was banned in, like, 2017. Um... <laughs> I mean, like, again, just the postings, it, honestly, most of it's just memes and shit posting. You know, that's just most of what he seems to have done. But uh, but recently, because of all the social media outrage and him appearing in feeds of people who are remarkably sensitive, he got banned from Facebook and Instagram. So they were just like, yeah, just no. And it's like, okay, but what, what about it? What, what exactly did he trip? And they were like, yeah, we just don't like it. It's just icky. It's just not our thing. Uh, they they said it was for uh, his something like controversial person policy or something like that. I can't remember exact the exact wording, but um, we don't like him. Yeah, basically. Um, but uh, you know, Tate was like, "Well, you know, I've 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 got good people on the case, and I trust due process." And it's like, "Oh, oh, mate, there's no due process. <laughs> you know, it's you, you, they are they are going to treat you like you are Satan forever." Uh, and then a day or two later, oh, TikTok was next. I was like, yep, you're putting him banned from TikTok. I don't even think he had an account on TikTok, but they do say that, oh, we've, we've banned an account belonging to him. But the thing is, on TikTok, it was people posting his clips and putting them around themselves. So they are just scrubbing Andrew Tate from TikTok. You're not allowed to show clips of him talking on TikTok. As if he's that interesting. Yeah, but it's, you know, we were saying before, but it's totally true as well. It's like, you might not care about the guy like I don't, but then no. getting scrubbed like this through means that are just 
hope not hate don't like you therefore you're banned from everything yeah even existing on there as yeah. you say on tiktok that can be you tomorrow i think this, this just isn't a way to run the world misogyny is a hateful ideology that's not tolerated on tiktok say tiktok We've been removing violative videos and accounts for weeks, and we welcome the news that other platforms are also taking action against this individual. Right, okay, we're going to talk about rapists in the next section who makes their life on TikTok, so... Yeah, well... Uh, they, they are, of course, using uh, bots to just find clips of his content and just scrubbing it all together. And the thing is, that it's like, okay, well, uh, he still had a YouTube channel, and the YouTube are like, ah, no, I think the, the public outrage is enough, and we need to get rid of that too. Uh, so Bloomberg breathless, breathlessly reported, oh, brilliant, YouTube have got rid of him as well. It's like, why the hell does Bloomberg care about Andrew Tate? Oh, sorry, do you guys not have important things to talk about? No, 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 Andrew Tate. <laughs> Andrew Tate's being misogynistic on the internet, don't you know? Right, a YouTube channel associated with was taken down because uh, YouTube are like, oh, well, it's uh, multiple violations of community guidelines. It's like, the guy had like 700,000 subscribers and had been posting this content for years, and it was only today. Oh, guideline violations. No, it's the Silicon Valley cartel. They've, the Eye of Sauron has got together and been like, oh yeah, okay, we've got to destroy this guy, because look at the Twitter mob. Look at them, they're really upset on Twitter. Got to get rid of him. Got to be done. There's no due process, though. I mean, if you could no. say, this you know, policy, this video, yeah. there you are, that's a strike. Yeah. Like, at least everyone can understand, okay, you're at least enforcing some rules. But yes. when there is just no rule of law on the internet for who should be allowed to have access to the entire world. Yeah. And, well, it's decided by, as you say, a handful of people. Yeah. Every single time. A handful of progressive bigots in Silicon Valley who can't take a joke, basically. Uh, hope not hate a group based in Britain that organises against far-right extremism. Is it Andrew Tate far-right? Does he even have politics? <laughs> <laughs> like, is being misogynist, is that inherently far-right? I don't know. I don't think it is, actually. <laughs> no, uh, but anyway, they launched a petition in August calling for him to be banned from major social networks, and so everyone was like, yeah, okay, good idea. Brilliant. Twitch, uh, he did have a Twitch account, as you can see in the headline of this. Oh, but that apparently has been closed by the user. It's like, okay, don't know why he'd do that. You know, his last method of speaking to the world. Oh, he just closed it himself. I, I no, nothing more to think about, I guess. So he's reduced to having a bit shoot channel now. That's where he is? Yep, as far as I can tell. Well, That's all I are. could really find. Uh, if you can scroll down a bit, just so we can see the number of subscribers. He's got like 50 subscribers on there or something. You know, is this is yeah. the official one? As far as I can tell, All I right. don't know. I mean, it might not be, but it links to his website, so you know, I assume so, which he still has for now. Uh, and so you get, like, you know, deplatforming works from hope not hate. So see, see if we just digitally execute all of these people, then they're gone. It's like, well, that is true, but that's also the same logic that the Nazis used about, you know, people they didn't like, yeah. undesirables, or the, you know, the Taliban do on a daily basis. Yeah, sure. You think are terrible. Okay. They they mm. posted a uh, thing to their Facebook, being like, yay. Isn't this great? TikTok has joined Facebook and Instagram and Twitter in permanently banning accounts run by Andrew Tate. This is some sort of victory because Tate is a violent misogynist with links to the organized far right. The yes. organized, what organized far right? What are you talking <laughs> about? I'm sorry, but none of that sentence makes sense. No. In the UK, what have you got if you actually wanted to say the far right? I mean, maybe national action, which are banned. Yeah, they're illegal. Yeah, it's a terrorist group because they made a tweet celebrating uh, killing an MP. I was like, right, that's, if that's how organized the far right gets, which is a banned group that made a tweet. Well, you understand he is creating a dangerous slip road to the far right and poses a genuine threat to the young men and boys he targets. Yeah, I forgot. Did you go to the march yeah. yesterday? It was a huge march in London of misogynists unite. Yeah, I did. I couldn't make it, unfortunately. Yeah. Andrew Tate was leading it. Yeah, I was too busy oppressing my wife. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but, uh, but the point is, though, of course, we've not heard from anyone on Andrew Tate's side from this, because that's what happens when these mass deplatformings go on. You don't get anyone speaking in your corner. And so uh, I found a video, or Rory gave me a video, of a woman called Leia Halipern, who is someone who knows Andrew Tate personally, and this is what she had to say about him. I have had nothing but positive encounters with Andrew Tate. He's always been very gentlemanly. I think he's very fun. He's very charismatic. Um, he's very smart. Um, I think he's a great businessman. He's also, let me say, I haven't mentioned this yet, he's also loyal. He's loyal to his friends. He's loyal to his brothers. And that is a huge sign of somebody's character. There's a lot of accusations about him online. And honestly, I just don't believe them because I've met the guy. And because I don't believe them, I will meet Andrew again. And we will do another podcast again. I mean, I, I don't believe any of that because I've watched Andrew Tate tell me on YouTube Shorts 
about how he's been disloyal to women or how he's uh well it's his own words it's like all this mouth but that's it's the thing a front like if it's if it's all a front then he's purposely giving off him being an asshole as well yes i think it's a, a selling technique i think it's sure. a big front i think he's basically all mouth and i think that like it's just nonsense like this like yeah the, the idea that this guy was like gonna lead some sort of incel uprising or something it's yeah, just, it's obviously it's insane. just stupid and so someone who in in essentially kind of a clown in many ways you know he says funny things that are transgressive against feminism uh but that's you know a natural sort of realignment mechanism when the narrative is all on one side but again we you know and so if you meet an actual woman it's like well he's always a gentleman okay he's a simp right got it <laughs> <laughs> like, okay you know mystique broken i don't know why but they buy into this and now they've destroyed him it's like okay but i just hate seeing the the vulgar exercise of power in this way he's got no recourse he can't defend himself now he can't come out and clear his own name he can't speak to the world and say well look they're saying this but i'm saying that and so therefore make your decision it has to be some other just random woman being like no he's actually a really nice guy he's always been a gentleman don't know what you're talking about you know and it's like okay well it's just gross gross yeah. to watch remember it could be you tomorrow so there's no security for anyone online no when this sort of stuff happens no. even if you don't like the guys many people don't like mr robinson or anywhere else they'll it doesn't really matter when it comes down to no. how they were treated. Yeah, exactly. It's your rights as well, and, you know, you don't have any, basically. Assalamu alaikum, brothers, and if you appreciated that segment from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content we have on the site, such as the Epoch series, this one on a bridge too far, part three. And to find out what else we're putting out, you can follow us on Getter at at lotuseaters underscore com on Getter. Thank you and goodbye.